sont des cris de joie pour Jésus. Est-ce que mon lolo est ça mon lolo, mon lolo. Aïe, 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 aïe. Alléluia. Alléluia. Uh, good evening, uh, our viewers. We thank God for giving us this opportunity uh, to hold this um, healing service with you. Today being uh, a Wednesday, we normally hold our healing service every Wednesday as from 5.30 here in Osos Cathedral. <clears throat> and so we are going to spend some time with you to worship God and also to hear the word, the word of God which heals. And so I request that we first pray. So wherever you are, uh, you can close your eyes and join me in this prayer. Let us trust in God and go before him. Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for the opportunity to fellowship together this uh, day. Lord, we ask for your presence to be with us. And we pray for the word that we are going to hear, that uh, it will be inspired of your Holy Spirit. The Father, it will heal us, it will deliver us, it will activate God's blessing in our lives and that uh, our lives will receive a healing touch again. This we ask and believe in the name of Jesus. Amen. So um, the sharing today um, have titled it, Set Yourself Free. Set Yourself Free. You may wonder why have I not used the term uh, may Jesus set you free or Christ has set us free. But follow me and uh, we will be able to uh, dissect this. We are in the world, but not of the world. And our salvation has changed our citizenship from the kingdom of the devil to the kingdom of God, the kingdom of light. Therefore, really we have nothing to do with the devil as long as you are saved. You have nothing to do with the devil. Neither does he have anything to do with you. Spiritually speaking, you are higher than him. You are seated somewhere higher, at the right hand of Jesus. This is what the scripture says. And therefore, we need to mold our minds and be able to receive this scripture, believe in it, and walk in it. Because our understanding of the scripture and the way we act according to the scripture makes a lot of difference. You can be saved and you remain bound and walk in bondage because of lack of knowledge because God's people perish because of lack of knowledge or you can read the scripture understand it and set yourself free let us begin by asking ourselves what is it that is making us not to live victorious and successful lives in the book of Galatians chapter 1 chapter 5 verses 1 says according to NIV version, it is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm then and do not let yourselves be burdened again by a yoke of slavery. So it is for freedom. Christ set us free for freedom. Set us free from the bondage of the devil, from the bondage of sin, from every kind of slavery. In New Living Translation, it says, So Christ has truly set us free. So Christ has really, truly set us free. Now, New Living Translation uh, says, uh, continues and says, Now make sure you stay free. So Christ has truly set us free. Now make sure you stay free. Now, the second thing is our morality. In John chapter 15, verses 3, through the word which I have spoken unto you. Now you are clean through the word. And this is Jesus saying that. 
the word of God which has been spoken for you. Let's begin by which was spoken to you before you got born again, you believed in God, you got born again, and now which we continually speak to you. It has cleansed you. Christ has set you free. Make sure you stay free. The word of God has cleaned you. In New Living Translation says, you have already been pruned by the message I have given you. The pruning that we do to trees, you have been shaped, fashioned according to God's will. You are listened to the lies of the devil or twisted theology. You are already clean. You know, it's possible for you to remain that free and clean when you hear this and you understand it. The knowledge of the word of God will cause you to walk out of the devil's uh, slavery, bondage. Whether of sin, of demons, of bad dreams, you are free. My sister, you are free. My brother, you are free. Stand firm on that freedom. Set yourself free. Make sure you remain free. Now begin pursuing perfection, pursuing excellence, producing goods, good works, fruits of righteousness, because you live by the word of God. Now, number three, begin speaking godly language. The right confession, confessions. Words are everything. And so the words that come out of your mouth shape your life, shape your worldview, shape affairs to do with you. And so you can no longer continue affirming negativity, bad things. Because your word, your words will prevail or culture level of success and victory. And so with me begin to affirm that you are blessed to affirm that you are healed, to affirm that you are victorious, to affirm that you are no longer under any bondage, to affirm that bad dreams, demonic attacks are not your portion. Affirm it. Use words, because words can kill or heal and give life. When words have, have, have been spoken against you, you cancel them using words. So they say you will not be successful, you say I will be successful because Christ has set me free. I cannot accept failure. First Corinthians chapter 2 verses 6 to 7. Yet when among you mature brothers, I do speak with the words of wisdom, but not the kind of wisdom that belongs to this world or the rulers of this world who are soon forgotten, nor wisdom with no. The wisdom we speak of is the mystery of God, his plan that was previously hidden. So these things are for the mature. Don't want to remain a baby. And we are talking about the wisdom of God, which the world finds foolish. When I tell you to affirm that you are healed, to affirm that you are victorious, to affirm that your business is going to succeed, lives, your life is turning around, it may sound foolish based on the knowledge and um, the philosophies of the world. But we speak words of wisdom, the kind of wisdom that is of God, that is not known and is ignored by the rulers of this world. But this is a mystery which was previously hidden to us, but the rule Christ has been revealed to us. And so this is it that we need to and so stay free from every moral uh, evil behavior and choose to set yourself free. We do impart wisdom, but it's indeed not the wisdom of the present age. But rather, we are New Living Translation, Mark 11 verses 23 says, I tell you the truth, you can say to this mountain, may you be lifted up and thrown into the sea, and it shall happen. The words of our mouths. You can tell any mountain, based on the faith we have in Jesus Christ. That devil, that curse, that disease, whatever it is, the lack of prosperity in your life, you can speak to it this evening. And we are going to do it together. And you tell it, move. I curse you. I cast you away. In the name of Jesus. For his letters accept rebuke and correction. This is why men and women of God are there. 
to talk to you, to tell you the will of God, to speak to you where you are wrong, where you are doing well, where you are not doing well. Learn to accept correction. That's part of discipleship. And even now as I'm speaking these things, there are things that you need to change in your life, in the way you practice your faith. Learn to accept correction and rebuke. That's how you grow. Because there are mentalities that we come with into the church of Christ. Mentalities that have to do with the outside world, not what the word of God says. Free yourself from such. Free yourself from what the doctors of this world will tell you. Ask yourself, what is Christ saying? Free your, uh, yourself from what the economists of this world are saying. What is God saying? Because God's blessings are not circumstantial. God blesses us and our prosperity is forever. We'll continue despite what is happening in the world. Our healing is not uh, circumstantial. We are healed and healed forever. We are victorious and victorious. That's exactly what the word of God says. We are free and we are free indeed. And therefore, I want you to understand the scripture I'm reading for you. According to 2 Timothy 3.16 says, All scripture, all scripture, the scripture that tells you to receive Christ, the scripture that tells you to repent, the scripture that tells you to you are healed, the scripture that tells you you are victorious, the scripture that tells you you are high above the devil, you are seated at the right hand of God in authority, the scripture that tells you that the name of Jesus is above all names and we can use these names and every principality and power will bow. It's inspired. It will work for you. I want us to bring this to the end and uh, say this that we no longer seek God's blessings. God has already healed us. God has already uh, set us free. God has already bl blessed us. We are blessed. You are blessed. You are delivered. You are okay, my brother. But you activate that bless blessing in your life through faith, through walking the word, walking in the word, letting for you. Begin doing it even now. Where you are, confess your healing. Affirm your deliverance. Affirm that you are no longer under any curse. Affirm that your life is changing and you are moving from prosperity unto prosperity. Affirm that your business will succeed and will do well in Jesus' name. Affirm that that school you began will do well. You will get children. You will do well in academics. Affirm that as a student you will do well, that you will understand. You will not be forgetful and God will bring that wisdom and understanding. Affirm that that uh, you no longer live a life of poverty, that poverty is not your portion. In the name of Jesus, activate that blessing in your life. And lastly, <clears throat> we also activate God's blessing through sharing our wealth and money with God. <clears throat> Financial curse is not broken by a prayer of faith. Financial curse is broken by giving, and that will activate God's blessing in your life financially. Give and it shall come back to you. And for the measure that you will give, that's what God will place on your laps. Try me in this way and you shall see that I will open the floodgates of heaven and blessing will pour unto you until you lack anywhere to hold. And so as we are going to pray, there are things that we are going to pray for, but not uh, with fear with a trembling, but you are going to pray as free people, just a family. And then we shall also pray over our finances. And I will be asking you to trust in God through giving. But let us affirm uh, through this prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, I speak healing in your life. I activate that healing in Jesus' name. That disease is gone. It's gone completely. Your financial lack failures in the name of Jesus is gone. Money is coming your way. You are going to own, to own a house because God has blessed you. Yes, your ministry is being inspired again and resuscitated in the name of Jesus. You begin walking in victory in the name of Jesus. Yes, your children will know the Lord. 
Yes, the devil cannot hold them hostage anymore. They are free from that bondage. Bondage of sin, bondage of the attack of demons, every kind of bondage. And now victory is yours. Blessing is yours. Prosperity is yours. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, continue affirming with me this prayer. Whatever you are in you, to go to your pocket or purse or wherever you have your money, even if it's in your empesa. And let us uh, trust in God through giving. And if you can be able to get to us here in church, if you are around, you are a member of us, you can come and give. If you are away out there and all that, you can do it through your empesa and activate God's financial blessing in your life. This one doesn't need prayer. This one needs obedience. Please don't eat that which is God's and yours. That which is God's and not yours. Just give to God offering, thanksgiving, whatever it is. May God help you to obey. And I want you to go to your Mpesa, select pay bill, put our pay bill number 582297. Go to the option of account. The account will be your the, the kind of giving you want to do, offering, tithe, thanksgiving, whatever it is. And then I put your pin and send it to us, wherever you are, whether you are a member of All Souls or not. I want you to participate in this anointing so that God is going to do what we are seeing here in your life. There is anointing and power in this word. And there is something that God is doing in your life even now as you give. Those who haven't given their tithe this month. And now, Father, in the name of Jesus, as this brother and sister obeys your, the word of your prophet, and they send this money as they enter it and send it to us. I speak the activation of the financial blessing in their lives now in the name of Jesus. And their finances are turning around because they are not giving, uh, looking at the circumstances they are in. They have believed in you that uh, God, you do not act because of what is happening around us. Your word is true all times. And so, Father, I pray that none of them will look at their circumstances or situation and then fail to give. I pray that they will look at your word, believe in it, act on it, and let it work for them. So, sister and brother, you are blessed. And God has done something good in your life. Keep sending it. Today, tomorrow, every other day. Tomorrow I'm going to meet with you through this forum again, as from 6.30. We hear the word of God and they share. Uh, on Sunday, I'll bring the word of God to you and it will be such powerful. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Join us uh, and let us grow together. Let us hear what the Lord is saying. It's, message, it's a message that we've prayed for. We've heard God uh, speaking to us uh, and, and God has given us this uh, chance to be able to bring this healing and salvation to his church. So God bless you and see you tomorrow. Amen. Yes, so yo, Yamba Masanzo never congole, Yamba to Yamaya Lobo, Fire Copesa Messi, Yes, so yo, Yamba Masanzo Liaba to Yagoma Papa, Obogina Minolo, Sambera Bomai, Yes, so yo, I am Baloya Bolo Kumunayo, Bolonangai, your bombardio, Elongana. Yes, so yo. Oh, yeah, I love you, oh, Jesus. Oh, we love you, oh, Jesus. Oh, we know that Lamont, the word of our Savior. We put on the key, the joy, and the honor. Ah, so China Bansi, Mosika, na Utanga, yo, yo. So China Bansi.